Uh, it's I'm, it's flooded. We've got in front of my house, I have about seven and a half, eight foot of water on the ground. Um, my house is elevated about eight foot off the ground. Last night I came about 10 inches from it coming to my front door. So it was a pretty stressful night. <laughs> Running people back and forth, you know, over to Bartlett's to the store over here, making sure everybody can, you know, get the provisions and stay safe. That's more or less pretty much what I've been doing. So I've been through three floods out here on the river now, and this is the largest and the fastest that I've seen. At this point, we have no reports of missing persons. We have no reports of deaths and no reports of serious injuries as a result of the flood. And I, and I would, would emphasize that I, I believe that is the case because we've done a, a, pretty, a pretty good job of notifying residents of the pending situation and evacuating as many people as possible. So all of Guerneville and the Russian River area is still under mandatory evacuation order. It's still dangerous. It's still not possible to get through. At this point, the sheriff's office is still requesting that people don't come in, even if they can find kind of a back road in, please stay away. Um, it is still dangerous with the water. You don't know what kind of uh, obstacles are under the water and the water itself may be contaminated. So we recognize it's really frustrating. Um, we appreciate everybody's patience as we wait for the waters to recede.